This is a known as a type Philadelphia Derringer. This is a 41 caliber. They were made about 1850. This is a type Derringer used by John Wilkes Booth to assassinate President Lincoln. So tell us a little bit about a Derringer. What makes it different from a dif uh, other types of pistols? The Derringer was made particularly as a hideaway weapon. And a lot of the early frontiersmen relied on that to be their second gun. If they lost the first one, they still had a Derringer to fall back on to protect themselves or their family. I see. Uh, is it named after somebody or how did it come, how did that name? The Philadelphia type Derringers was not named for anyone in person. Now you had other companies like Colt made a Derringer, Remington made Derringers. All of these people made various Derringers and sold them through the companies. Where most of the Philadelphias or a single Derringer, uh, many people such as a gunsmith would make a Derringer. So some of the Derringers are smaller caliber than this one, or different models of them? Most, most of the single shot Derringers were made in larger calibers because it was black powder. Okay. They would be made in like 40 caliber, 44 caliber, 50 caliber, depending on how much power you wanted to have in it. I see. And then this model is a single barrel and they do different kinds too? Yeah, like, that's right. Uh, what did you call it? Over and under? The the double barrel, barrel. Yeah, over and under. The over and unders were usually Remingtons and they were made 1858. There were also multiple barrels. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. But this one, you don't now, know the... that. Yeah, you're talking about a different piece of equipment there. They made uh, Allen and Thurber in 1845 made a barrel that would shoot like six times, seven times, eight times, all in one barrel. But they were all made around. They could rotate. The barrel rotated. It looked like a cylinder in an average gun, uh -huh. only it was three, four, five inch long, and it was a derringer. Oh wow! Yeah. Now you said this one we don't know the maker of this model gun here. No, no. And so some of that was common in Derringers not to know the. Uh, many of the Derringers were made, as I said, by gunsmiths. Okay. There's no names on them, but the noted name brand was Philadelphia Derringer. Gotcha. Did they ever figure out about John Wilkes Booth's Derringer where it came from? Was that no. ever? No. No, yeah. There's no way of tracing a percussion type Derringer where your Colts and your Remingtons all had serial numbers. Right. Well, and yeah, they, they could trace them back to the factory. How about the name? Where did the name Derringer come from? Did you ever hear that? Well, yes. There was a manufacturer very early in the gun business that made a long rifle and it was Derringer. So chances are this was a takeoff. So they figured if I can make a long gun, why can't I make a handgun? Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, this one's beautifully engraved. Most of them were small amount of engraving on them, yes. How far back does the history of Derringers go? Small, say just small What's the oldest long gun that you ever heard of? Probably these are some of the earliest, yeah. the Philadelphia type Derringers yeah. was your earlier Derringers. The cartridge didn't come in until about 1850, 1855. Okay. What kind of wood is that, do you know? Probably walnut. Walnut? Many yeah. of them used walnut, some of them used cherry. Uh, even in the bigger percussion pistols, a lot of the stops were cherry. Many of the Derringers were noted as hideaways. Oh. So like if you had a single action Colt on you and you had one of these stuck in a coat pocket, that was his choice to use right. because he had no other gun. Oh, so if they got your uh, uh -huh. well, yeah, boot, a lot of them were carried in boots. The Derringers, if you go back and look, this type Derringer 
Remington made a Derringer, Colt made a Derringer, all of these companies made Derringers at one time. And they were all vest pocket Derringers, so that was the, the word for them.